guys, the Beaver is here and today I'm going to review this Michelin uh, program, uh, programmable 12 volt compressor. So uh, this review is going to be about what's inside this box, how it's going to work and all this kind of stuff what you, can, uh, what you will get in this box as well. So let's get started and let's uh, first look at the box in here you have you see here it says programmable programmable here it says what it is in different languages here as well everything in different languages as well some pictures here some pictures here and some pictures here as well saying what it is and in in the other way it's only going to say what it is as well in different language so let's open up this box uh, so what you get inside this box is uh, here is a big manual what it's uh, what says what every button will do and what you will get uh, what are these sockets as well so inside the box first of all you're going to see a manual I recommend you to read this one because you can have some issues otherwise it is really short in English it's just a few few pages not really big at all some troubleshooting and everything else and says as well what everything will do then what you will get uh, you will get a bag, a bag, a bag where you can uh, put it in and uh, it's a really nice thing to have to put this thing in and to keep it then you have uh, the the party piece I, I have to tell. Let's put this box away now. And then we have the compressor. Here it is. So, uh, what's this? Let's remove this protective plastic. You see now, here we have a nice shiny plastic. Uh, it kind of doesn't leave the fingerprints on as well. So, in, inside, in this side, we have the adapter for power where, where you put it into your car and then you will uh, pump the, the tires up then we have here it says again it's 12 volt comp uh, compressor made by Michelin and here we have a uh, different kind of sockets for uh, maybe if you want to uh, inflate your bo ball or some kind of toys you have these kind of small sockets which are really nice to and handy to have then we have this kind of the, the pump lead here you have the socket you will screw this on, onto your uh, tire and then you will pump the tires up uh, it's quite it's not really 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 long one but uh, it's all right let's I'll just put it in pack put it back it's kind of a little bit difficult to put these things together then here we have here is five LEDs which you can uh, press this button and then it will light up they're really bright here this button will change what you want PSI bars or something else here you can uh, put your pressure in what you want then you have 12 volt DC socket as well if you want to use this and uh, then you have this uh, USB port 5 amps and 1 volt I think it was so perfect for charging up your phone and this is the on and off button really uh, don't press this when you don't use this because it can cause pr problems and I thought first of all this thing was broken okay then uh, I will plug this in and show what it does so let's plug this in and after all this I will uh, show how to compress uh, put the tires you plug this in it will start up I hope you can see the screen I'll zoom in so let's start with the button here see we have really bright LED lights and now it's we're going to see PSI bars or KPA as well uh, and here we can now set up the pressure whatever we want up to uh, I thought it pumps up to 3.5 bars uh, but uh, never know you can get them way 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 up in this thing uh, and it sounds like this if I haven't 
for a second I can press this on. <laughs> this kind of sound. And yeah, and uh, here in the back of it, this thing, we have those rubber things to keep this on the ground well and it wouldn't slip. So, and if you ask, is this better than these things? These small things, this thing, what I bought for maybe 10 bucks and then this thing that I ordered in eBay. Uh, the system is completely accurate to have checked with these things. But uh, yeah, I think this is better thing. It's yeah, it's a little bit uh, more uh, problematic to use. Maybe you have to put the power power in than everything else. But uh, if you uh, deinflate the tire, then you can watch the screen and you can see how my uh, how much I need to do this. So th you don't need to guess with this machine, and it's uh, really comfortable even pumping up the tires uh, on your bike or bicycle because. Uh, just uh, you just put the right pressure in and you don't need to worry because I ride a lot with bicycles and then I have this problem because the tire pressures want to get uh, out of the order all the time and then I have trouble putting them to right pressure again so but now let's go outside and I'll show you how to pump this thing now when I have screwed in the valve uh, uh, then it it shows me the current pressure, it's just 21 bars. Now when the next thing is, I want, I want to press this button here to set the right pressure what I want to have, it's 2.3 bars. And then we'll press this button, then it will start pumping. <laughs> says 2.25 I don't know but it's all right I think let it be sometimes it goes up to 2.3 but sometimes it stays at 2.25 I don't know why but I don't know how to uh, that's how it does this thing so that's it for the end of this video I'm going to say this is really really good machine I definitely recommend to buy this one and if you and uh, yeah the price is maybe a little bit high but uh, it definitely pays off because it's so comfortable to use and yeah and I really like to use this thing so it's time to end if you enjoyed this one then click the like button if you're new to my channel then subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye